Allie, there's two corner flags over there. Could you grab one and match this one? And then there's two corner flags over there. Could you grab one and match that other one? Just on the end line over there. What's that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. If you guys want to grab a ball and knock it around, feel free. Oh, yeah, I'll grab it. Thanks, sir. Uh, just on this, like right, yeah, just on the on the line there. Yeah, that's good. Just to give you guys a reference point.
Make sure you guys bring all those balls over there. Bring everything in. All right, so Mira, Karina, can you guys get your gloves? You guys can get those going right off the get-go. I'll wait for them to get started. How are we doing today? Good. Yeah. All right, so we'll wait for these two to get back. Uh, basically what I've done is I've made the warm-up, so we're gonna do it over here as a whole group, and then we'll get going in terms of our activity. One, as soon as Astrid gets out here, she'll take the second group with her, and then we'll get at it, okay? So, come on in, guys. Let's so, is we're all gonna have so find a partner find someone on a ball what we're going to work on today is basically learning entry to the area of the field using our six eight and ten so our central midfielders okay so what i want you to do is find a find inside this 30 by 30 grid here a ball just for each pair so you guys will notice the grid is laid out by this green cone all the way down to the green cone over there. You'll see one over there and one on the far side. Okay, give yourself some space. For play, what we're gonna do is on my signal, we're gonna start dribbling around. And what's gonna happen is when I give you a signal, I want you to attack and drive through one of the gates that's presented to you. You'll notice these little gates are color coded. There's orange, there's green, there's blue. So it doesn't matter what color it is to start. Whenever I give you a signal, whoever's on the ball between you and your pair, you're driving through that gate on the dribble. Does that make sense? Goalkeepers, you can do the same thing. I just want you running through that area with the ball. Okay, ready? Start moving around. Find a gate. That's okay. Can we identify space? Can we look to find space to attack? Ready, let's go. On the dribble. Let's head up as fast as we can. Ready, let's go. And pause there. Little dynamic stretch, whatever you need. The next sequence after a stretch, I'm going to give you a signal, but I'm also going to indicate a color of a gate. Whoever's on the ball must penetrate, drive through the color of the gate that I signal. So to give you an idea, it'll be blue. We identify where a blue gate is. The person on the ball drives through the gate. Make sure as we're penetrating that we're not slowing down as soon as we get through the gate. Can we identify space to attack? Okay, ready? Start moving around again. Green! Find a gate! Orange! Alright, and pause there. Little dynamic stretch again, something else that you need. Right. So we've talked about penetration in terms of on the dribble. That's what we've worked on so far. What's another way we can penetrate? Through a pass. So the next sequence we're going to do, I'll open it up to any gate. When I give you the signal, we're going to find our partner through one of the gates and give them a nice pass on the ground where then we receive and go. Make sense? Ten more seconds. Let's get going. 
Any gates open for this one? Start pushing the tempo a little bit, ladies. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Good and pause there. Dynamic movement, whatever you need. Next sequence, again, the progression, same concept. It'll be passed through a gate this time I'll indicate the other. So again, there's gonna be some confusion. Can we prepare our bodies to play quicker? Ready, start moving around. Find the orange gate, let's get through it. Let's go, Woo. Let's maximize the good, find the speed, be aware of your surroundings. Let's go, orange. Good, and pause there. Last little stretch. So, so far we've talked about a dribble and a pass. Is there another way that we can look to penetrate? So we can have a longer ball, yeah, so more of a direct ball into a striker or uh, an advancing player. What else? Yeah, we can have a little flick. We can maybe do some little combinations, so an overlap or an underlap of players. So for this last sequence, I want us to use creativity in terms of our penetration. So whatever domain you want to do, whether it's an overlap, an underlap, maybe it's a clipped, maybe it's a little bit of a flighted ball into your partner, whatever you want to do, okay? This one, because of the creativity element, I'm going to allow you to pick any gate you want again, okay? Ready? You start moving around. Let's go. Open play. Attack gates. Ready, let's go! Last couple, let's push the tempo, let's make sure we're ready to go. Let's go! Let's go! All right, and stop there. Little dynamic stretch, whatever you need, last one. And then if you guys can, can you pick up the gate here and then meet me over here. If you need a quick drink, you can run and grab a quick drink. Uh, balls can come centrally here. Actually, sorry, some can come up here at the, at the pennies, and some will have to go over here at these blue pennies.
Uh, yeah, you can bring your waters over here if you need. You're good? Yeah. So, nope, no, same thing. So I'm going to take a group over here. I have the players. I'll send the rest with you here. Mm -hmm. We'll just go functional this way. Yeah. And then basically I have a progression where I'm just going to go basically 6v3. You'll have nine players. I'll do nine players. Sure. So it'll be one target, one target, and then basically 4v3 in the middle of the park. Sure, yeah. Good? Uh, about 15-ish. Sure. Yeah. All right, ladies, just water down over off the pitch over here. So the following players are going to be with me. We're going to work over here in this grid. The players that I don't list, you're going to go over with Coach Astrid over to this grid here. Okay, so Micah and Gadet, Emma, Cam, Gemma, and Abby, you're with me over here. If I didn't say your name, you're going to go over with Coach Astrid. I uh, know you guys are over there too, yeah, for this one. All right, so what we are going to do with the nine of you guys is we've got two pro progressions, so basically to introduce us building through the middle third. So what we've marked out here is a 30 by 30 grid going to simulate the park of the field, okay? So in that grid, we are going to have a 3v2 situation. So my three attacking players are going to be Emma, Cam, and Gemma. Okay, so you're going to be in greens. On one end is the target. Over on, on the far side, I'm going to have the two strikers as our nines. And it's going to be Vibert and Okay, and then on this side over here, we're going to have Micah and Gadet, and you guys will start with the ball. So for this exercise to start, the balls will always start here. So if they go out of bounds, then basically... And simply what's going to happen then is our two defenders, so Grace and Abby will be the two central defenders for the opposition. What we're going to do from here and to try to get it into our uh, attackers. Defenders, if you win the ball, you can either connect two passes for a point, or you can simply dribble outside of the grid to get a point for yourself. Okay, and we'll keep score. Does that make sense? Okay, so there's two pennies here. Uh, Abby, you can throw on the blue pennies. The rest of the balls can be here for Micah and for Jet. And we're playing uh, this midfield You are playing the midfield players, yes. Any questions? We understand what's going on? Outside. You're outside the grid, just on well, top as targets. Exactly. Yeah, so the ball, just to walk you through, will be played either Micah to Gadet. You guys can play together with yourselves. I want limited touches between you two. Ideally, we'll probe into our six, eight, or ten to try to get forward to connect with these guys. If you guys, green, can score and get it to the target players, we get a point. The ball will start back here. Blues, you win the ball, dribble out, connect two passes, you get a point for yourselves. I will allow it to start for a progression. They cannot go here to here, though. They can bounce it back to them for right now. Uh, no, you can play on whatever sequence you want. Ready? Let's walk it through. Yep. Good. Well done. Stop there. That's fine. We'll reset. We'll start back here every time. Just recover back into position. This is your rest phase. Ready? Let's go. Good. Just reset. Yeah, next ball. Mic up. Good, well done, good spacing. Let's go again. And stop there, stop there. So I don't mind the bounce pass from Emma. I love the, the, the movement of coming in front of this line. Can you give it back to Micah for a sec? Emma's run into this area. Would you guys consider it early or late? She was a little early, so her movement got her here, and Grace, the defender, came and picked her up. So in this moment, as a midfielder, what options do I have on the ball? Huh? I only have back. Well, Emma's movement and time could have been improved here to maybe open up so she could play in a forward plane. What I really want to focus on is the other two midfielders. So when you see a movement from a midfielder, especially a higher midfielder dropping, how can we offer support? So Emma's check in. 
We play her the ball. Can this midfielder, no, just hold it, just keep it there under your feet, Emma. Instead of going back a line, can this midfielder maybe drop alongside this player to receive this ball? So Emma can maybe play this ball, then I can turn and I can look to play maybe on one touch or two touch. So give it back to Micah. Because we lacked the secondary movement of our midfielder, especially an eight in this case, as Emma showed, she didn't see that option, so she only had to play negative. So I'll let you walk through it, Cam, come up higher. As the ball travels into Emma, we're just gonna rehearse one, so go play. Yep, Cam drop underneath, bounce, and can we play, find the split? Good, and good stuff. Come back to Micah, full rehearsal now. We're live on Emma's touch, okay? Ready, Emma, no, no, Emma, start on the higher side of Grace, where you started initially. Ready, let's go. That's fine, play on, new ball. Well done. Good. So Gemma, could you have opened up a different way than receiving that on your right foot here? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I won't, I won't stop that, but let's see if we can incorporate it. Good, Emma. Get out, Cam. Get out. Get out, Cam. Good, Gemma. That's better. Good. Reset. Use this as your recovery moment, especially defenders. Great movement, Emma. I love the, the penetration on the run. Just pause there for a second. Compliment here. A lot of times from our warm up, the progressions that we did were only when we were on the ball in terms of penetration. So you think about it in terms of a pass or a dribble. I love the penetration from a midfielder, especially in this case, Emma, who started out here. And when we got on the ball here, what did she do? She broke this line of the midfielders to threaten this gap. So it starts to create space and time for a midfielder. So it was a great job from you. Okay, Micah, ready? Or sorry, uh, yeah, let's play. Get out now if you need. Couple more sequences. Good. And pause there. Uh, v Bird and Sally, can you guys switch with Grace and, uh, and Grace and Abby in the midfield? You guys, can you just collect balls? Make sure you got enough balls there for a sec. Just to give those two defenders a little bit of a breather, we'll switch them out. Ready? Let's go! It's alright. Restart! Good movement, Emma. Good balance. Can we look to communicate that a little bit earlier? Well done. And pause there. What I'm gonna now know is the green players, because a penetration doesn't always exist to playing into a higher line, sometimes our penetration can actually be dribbling into that area. So right now we're affording you guys one point of playing a target. Can we get into a situation where maybe Jess finds me in a higher position, but now instead of playing into these guys, what I can do is dribble across this line, you would now go rotate in, and then basically I would take the higher position for the next sequence. Does that make sense? So if we can find that dribble penetration, we're gonna give you guys as a team two points, okay? Ready? 
Let's go! And stop there. What happened there, Greens? So we became very stagnant, right? We're just off there. Right now, we're not asking any questions of these two defenders, right? We don't have any depth in our attack. So sure, we have some depth here and up front, but as the three of us through the middle of the park, we need to ask questions of these two. So as Cam correctly identified, if she comes down and if Emma stays higher, what we've now done is created a problem and a mismatch or an overload on Vibert. So if Cam shows here, I'm the six, naturally can I get on the ball? Now the question becomes, we've created an isolation here. So Emma can pull off, maybe Cam can find the direct ball, maybe she can dribble in and we can play from there. Okay, give it back and we'll restart. So make sure we get the depth, start higher Cam where you were. Ready? And drop in, let's go! Good. Better first touch, can we take our first touch forward? Okay, dribble, get your point, get your point, get your point, get your point. Well done. Good stuff, reset. Yep. Good win, restart. Three more sequences and a lot of progression. Ready? Let's go! And pause there. I don't mind the pass eventually, but what we need to start becoming more comfortable on is on our midfielders, especially in this situation where we overload them, where we penetrate space to commit these guys. What did they do to you here, here in this moment? They stepped, but eventually what did they do? They tried to slow you down, right? To get more compact. So as this ball traveled into Gemma, what I want us to do, A, can we have the awareness early to open up into this position? Right now, some of us were taking a sideways touch or maybe even a negative touch, which makes it comfortable on these two. So if Gemma puts a positive touch here and penetrates here, if Vibert shows, we can now find a longer one. Maybe it can be outside. Maybe we can look for an overlap. But right now, we're not scanning early enough to be able to find those moments. Okay? Give it back to Micah. Gemma, when you receive, I want you to start moving forward but you're not free until she's made her first touch. Okay, ready, play. Open, drive. Check, check. Good, now find your moment. There it is, well done, probe. And great stuff. Stop there, you guys go grab a quick drink if you need. I'm gonna add a progression in. Are you guys okay to stay blue or do you wanna switch out? Okay. Actually, I'll get you two to switch, just for the sake of this exercise. Uh, it doesn't matter to anyone. Good, come on, ready guys. Good success, decent success. What do you guys think? Could be it could be better. There's some little technical things that we can improve on always, right? But I think overall it was decent. We're able to get the ball over there. What I'm going to do is challenge you guys a little bit more. So it's going to be more of a directional game. There'll be one outlet here and one outlet here. And then what it's going to be is 4v3 in the middle. So I have one more defender. So and, and Gadet here. One more that wants to be a defender. And what I'd like to work with is the initial three that were in here. Cam, Gemma, and Emma as my 6, 8, and my 10 in this area, so then basically you two will be the, the, the either the defenders or you guys can be the target players, you guys will be the defenders. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay? So let's get back to our home bases. Balls will always start here. Okay? 4v3, 4v3 in the middle. Yeah. Uh, one here and one over there. Yeah, Vibert. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, Abby's the other attacking mid. Okay? So ball will start with Sally. Same sequence. We have four. So what the fourth option is, is really a withdrawn striker or maybe an advanced fullback. Someone that's joined into the middle area of the field for us to be able to penetrate forward. So what we're doing is working the same area. 
Uh, Sally will play into whatever decision she wants. We are trying to play Vibert's feet. Again, Blues, if you win the ball, can you dribble out or connect two passes for your points? Otherwise, Green plays there, they get one point. Unless they dribble and interchange with Vibert. Okay, give it back to Sally. Ready? Let's go! Great ball, well done. We can start here, you can play this way, yeah, good. Bring it down, Sally, ready, let him get recover, good. Good, restart, ball's out. Restart with Sally. The green, remember, you guys can interchange with Viber on the dribble if you need to. Great, one touch, well done. Good, can you dribble? Okay, restart. Good. Restart. Keep in mind our principles. Can we have some depth in our attack between the four of you guys? Good. And stop there. Stop where we are. Stop where we are. Do you see again the four of us? We're in a very tight channel here. Emma, stop where we are. Do you see where we are in terms of a real tightness of a four? We're not asking questions of these three defenders. So in this case, Gemma, can we come higher? I know Vibert's here, but she has the flexibility to move wherever. Now we can start to maximize our space. So Cam, if you drop down, we've asked questions of these two. If Grace goes, can Sally find this higher option, right? Emma, don't, cl don't take away my spacing here, right? So right now we've seen situations. Abby, you could even drop down too to come alongside to get this ball. So this is what we want to create, the width and the depth in our midfield to start putting these three under a little bit more pressure. Okay, ready, let's go. Good, open, Drew, open. I don't mind it, can we get it? Hey, that's not bad, that's not bad. It's tidy up the technical element and it comes off, right? Good. Secure, secure. Yeah, let's restart. Find the timing of our run screen. We need to make sure we're exploiting space and the timing. Hey, hey, hey. Forward touch. Good, that's better. Let's see if we can clean up the technical elements again. Our first touch needs to be forward if we're not under pressure. Restart. Great spacing. Can we pull? Good stuff. Well done. One more. That's much better, Green. It's better spacing. We're able to penetrate through the middle field and find our higher target. Good. Find our movements. Find our movements. Find the timing. Can we drive? Can we drive? Good. And good work. And there. Can you guys pick up this grid we're working in? Go grab a quick drink if you guys need. We're going to build into the next activity. What I need is all the balls to go into this net here, and then the two goalies, you'll be in either net. Uh, yeah, both grades can get picked up. Yeah, everything will go off. Yeah, you can fade out, yeah.
here, ladies. Come on in. So, Mira, you're going to be set here. Micah, Sierra, Gadette, I need you all in blues. Okay, Cam, Gemma, and Emma, I also need you in blues. You'll be my midfielders. Sally and Vibrate, you'll be my attackers attacking this net. Okay, and what I need to start with is Chloe as the attacker attacking this way. Ali and Grace as the midfielders in the green here, basically attacking this way. And Sophia as the one defender out here. The rest of you, if I didn't call your name, just come out to the side and we'll rotate you guys through as we, as we see. Okay? So, players that I called, the first sequence, we're going to be in a back three in this zone. And you see how I have corner flags laid out? That's the defensive third. You guys are restricted to that area for right now. Okay? Chloe, you're going to be the attacker stuck in that zone as well. Okay? Grace and Ali, you're the defender stuck in this blue square that's laid out here that's a little bit bigger. Okay? Yes. Uh, and then Gemma, Emma, and Cam, you guys will be the midfielders here. You guys are restricted from going into wide channels to start with. Does that make sense? Then Sophia is the defender covering two players. Okay? The ball will always start with Mira. Mira, you can play it out to any one of your three defenders. And your guys' job is to probe the ball into your midfielders. And we're trying to create moments for you guys to join and penetrate into the attacking third to eventually get a shot on Karina and net. Okay? Balls will always start here with Mira. So if they go out of bounds, okay, then we're going to restart. Grace and uh, Ali, if you guys win the ball in a transition, if you can go to the area or find Chloe, you get a point. You cannot come past the blue. Okay? I will allow you to shoot if you want. Okay? Chloe, if you win the ball in this area, punish them and score. Okay? Yes. For right now, you're restricted for that area. Okay? I just want to maximize the area. Correct. Yeah, so you guys are stuck there. Right now, play through the midfield is what I want. Okay? Mira, are you ready? Any other questions? Yeah, you guys can go all the way. It's just the midfielders are stuck here. Okay? Let's go, Mira. Done, restart, just jog back to your home positions. So another, a couple of you guys, when we rotate, you can go in for Chloe, you guys can go in the midfield, and you can go in the defenders when we need to defend, okay? Ready, let's go! Doesn't count, restart, back with Mira. We gotta find our midfielders. Midfielders, remember the sequences that we were working on just in the last activity. Ready? Let's go! Restart. Just as Mira's getting the ball, right now the back three, I need we to shape you guys up in order to think, can we get the ball here on an urgent matter? So right now we're too comfortable playing 4v1 here, which I don't mind, but again, the objective is to try to find our midfielders. Now I'm not blaming you guys, we three have to do a better job of finding the time in, to get into this area to get on the ball. Okay, ready? Let's go! Great ball. Good stop, restart, just place that everyone get back into their home base. Okay, it's done. We start. Just play it a bit long. We're done. Again, we got to play through our middle third, so we can't have a direct ball. Yep. Good. And 
then pause there, pause there, pause there. Give it back here to Micah. Right now, what we're doing as midfielders is we're doing a lot of moving, but what happens is our moving is not unmasking us. So right now, with Grace is in this position, and as Grace goes to Micah, what I'm not doing is I'm not recognizing the movement or the windows to pop into. So maybe I can show here and ask for Micah to play an earlier ball. But Grace, your run took you on a little bit of an angle this way. So me, what I did in this case is Emma still ran in this pattern, and so it eliminated uh, Sophia, uh, Micah's option to play here. Can we recognize where the pressure of these two midfielders are and be able to show in a different window? Do I have to show like this? How can I show that makes me more success to penetrate through this area of the field? Open my body. So as I show here, can Micah play to my left leg? I've already stand in advance. Now I can receive this ball, and now I can play this ball or maybe that ball, and we can get more success on the higher options. Okay? So again, the awareness of the three of us of breaking lines to get in behind these two to play better. Okay? On Micah's pass, we're free. Okay? Ready? Let's go! Good stuff. And stop there, Chloe, you two, and uh, Sophia, you guys can rotate out with the four reserves. You guys stay as the attacking team. Ready, Mira? Let's go. Good, get forward, you can play it in. That's good, just play it into Mira's hands. Reset. Can we probe? Stuff, good finish, well done. Starts again with Mira. Okay, and pause. Give it back here again for Micah. So far out of the about 12 or so sequences we've done, we've always probed the ball from our back four, our three plus our one, into our six that's in front of this defensive line. What's another ball that perhaps may be more threatening that can finish off one line and even a second line? Can we find our 10? Can we find that higher player? So right now I love Emma's position. She's dragged out. So what challenges does that pose for Merck? Where to go? Does she stay central or does she start rolling out here? So let's say you take two or three steps that way. Now what I want us to do is to start having the recognition that maybe I can break this line on one ball. That's penetration through here and now we're in. But right now we're condensing this space too much. Emma's usually in a little bit and Cam showing here. And we're only playing in about half of this square. Look how much space we have out here. So if Emma's there and even goes a little higher, if I'm Cam and I come out here, what we've done is we've really stretched these two to make us have situations. So now you have Emma, you have Gemma, or maybe you have me in this pocket and I can play forward, okay? Can you give it to Gadet? We'll play into Micah. On Micah's first touch, we're live. Just wait for me to get off, okay? Ready, let's go. Good, reset. Good luck, Jess, that's better. Good, can we find a higher one? Hey, well done, that's better, Blue, well done. And can we score? Great stuff, well done, Blue, much better sequence. Back in with Mira. That's better, well done. And pause there. I'm gonna allow one progression before I bring these four ladies in. Fullbacks, you can now join in the attack in the outside areas 
but you will only be effective if a midfielder can bounce the ball into you in those channels on one touch, okay? So to walk you through it, if you play Micah, and Micah plays me as a six and I'm showing underneath and I can't play forward, if Micah goes in and I can find this little ball outside and she can play directly in, we'll allow it. Why is this penetration through the middle third? What are we ultimately doing? Yeah, we're creating an overload in the wide areas. Why? Because Mike has joined the attack as a fullback. We've created a two and maybe even a three V1 to be able to get the ball through the middle zone into the higher pockets. Okay? So same thing on the other side for Sierra. It must be on one touch for us to play the ball. Back in the mirror. You guys got to play on one touch. When you receive, you play. Okay? Let's go. No defending in here. No. Yeah. Good ball, Gemma. Finish. Let's finish that. Well done. Let's be a little greedy there, Viper. Let's finish that. Sierra, we can go wider, right? Let's maximize the space. Let's play. Get out of there now, Cam. Get out, Cam. Get higher, get higher, get higher. All right, one more sequence, Mira. Good, and restart. I'm gonna add a progression in. Can I have one more defender that goes joins and one more attacker that goes joins up here? So what we're doing now is we have defending shape is two, two, two against the same attacking shape. What I will allow now is you guys to join as fullbacks into this middle area of the field on any sequence. So when you play this line, you can break this line and come into this area, okay? For me as a midfielder, if I'm an eight, and my center back is on the ball, can you just play it to Jess? What is something that I could do to maximize the ability to play through this middle third if I'm in a central position? Where could I go right now that would allow us more success? Yeah, can I take her away? So what I will allow us to do is leave this area of the field, right? So now Gemma can come out here. Merck, you can follow if you want. And now Micah, if you want, you can join in to become that moment in there. Okay, so what we're doing is creating an overload, a different inversion way, okay? Give it back to Mira. No, you guys are still restricted in this area. You guys are restricted in this area. You guys are restricted there. You're in the back, you're a defender. Okay, ready? You guys have the full width of this area, so don't be afraid to maximize this area. Ready? Let's go. Good, restart, back in with Mira. Blues, my 10 can penetrate too if you want. I'll allow that, you can penetrate the zone. Ready? Mira, let's go. Hey, great sequence. That's better, well done. Can we finish? A good sequence, well done, that's much better. Gemma, do you always have to play on one touch here? Can you turn and open up? I don't mind the decision, just to give you another, another thought, right? Let's jog back in, ready, let's go. Good sequence, good bypass. Alongside, can we open? Bounce and play. Good, pause there, pause there, pause there, pause there. Give it back with Cam. 
the timing of this execution was okay, but the decision making in terms of the execution of playing the next ball was a little slow, which allowed the defenders to recover. So I love the sequence into Cam. We broke two lines and we have a forward playing option here. I know your first look went here. Can we see if we can find dynamic movements from you two to open up this space? If Sally goes out wide and Ali goes with her, what can you do? You can drive, right? And we can shoot this ball, right? If Viber starts showing in, we can play this little ball in. If Sally stays in, that allows Gemma maybe to take a wider position. But this execution here is the part that's hurting us right now is we receive the ball in great position, but then we're too slow to reenact. Get back to Micah. We'll have this line broken, so Taylor reset. Cam come higher. On Cam's reception of this ball, we're live, okay? So wait for her to receive and then we go, okay? Ready? Let's go. Ready? We're live. Good stuff. Well done. I don't mind a shot earlier. Reset. Good reset. So Cam, you can join in as you want as a penetration out of there, right? So I don't mind the late penetrating 10 attacking through that space to get on a ball too. Mira, can you look to bypass this line if need be? Can you probe your midfield if it's on, right? Ready? Uh, you can roll out here, yes. Ready? Let's go! Finish, well done, reset. Good stuff, find the sequence, good turn. Can we put it on that? That's fine, reset, give it back to Mira. Greens again, Mira, Merck, and Taylor. If you guys get the ball, you can either probe one or just get out of side of your grid to get a point, okay? Th sure. Let's play. Okay, and stop there. Bring it back here. I wanted to see how that one sequenced out. Can you get the ball back here into Gemma? And then, Micah, you're in a wide position here. So, how this play initiated, if you don't recall, Micah was here, basically probed into Gemma, who had made a great run into this area, was able to open up. Micah continued on an overlap into this position. What happened once we got here? Why did it start to break down a little bit? Do you call? Yeah, so, yeah, I agree. It wasn't so much on Taylor, it was more on the timing of our run, but also the execution. You took four touches in that moment as opposed to trying to play on one or two. So Mike had made a great run here. The probe in, can you open up and play me? Because you did a great job of pulling Taylor in here. So if you don't like this, pick your head up and see if you can find a weaker option. What is the weak side option there? Cam, great. So right now, look at the two midfielders. They've rotated all the way across. So yes, you could play that, but I think if you're cleaner on your first touch, you can play Mike and Taylor as a midfielder is not going to be able to get out here so we can play in. Okay, so give it back to Mike here. Taylor, you know this is happening, but don't rotate out, so roll, roll inside. Ball is going to come into Gemma. When Gemma's open, I want you to open up. You can play Micah or you can look weak side if you want, depending on what Taylor does. That's your read. Okay, ready? Let's go. Good, and stop there. One more sequence with Mira. You guys ready to go? We're gonna go in right away as a game, so. Punish him, punish him, good finish, Shayla. Come on, Blue, we gotta be tidier there. Reset, let's get our own base. Yep.
Good stuff, and stop there. Can you guys come in? Just grab the vertical blue lines. Leave those horizontal lines, leave them where they are, but grab these three cones on each end on those side and come on in. You guys can go grab a quick drink if you need. Make sure the balls go in either net. Pardon? Yeah, that'd be good. So, thoughts from you guys? Decent? What, what can we do to improve our uh, penetration? Communication, for sure. That's definitely a coaching point. Faster play. So our execution of our receiving of the ball and getting the ball out of our feet. But I think the communication with that, but the ability to be, have some awareness around us to be able to see what we need to do. That's going to be huge elements with it. What else can we do? We did a little bit more, so we're starting to look at those. If you think back to our warm-up, we incorporated some penetration off a dribble. How many of us have penetrated off a dribble? The last one with Emma driving in there was okay, but besides that, we haven't to do it. And again, it's a situation where I think as midfielders, that's an area that we can continue to improve on. Receiving the ball, hey, I have beating lines. Can I probe? Can I go forward? And that's what's going to allow us some success. So what we're going to build to is a unstructured. We're going to play, okay? No rules uh, besides the normal laws. Throw-ins, corner kicks, everything else.